Legendary Australian cricket legend Shane Warne has died at the age of just 52 after a suspected heart attack. The spin bowler was known as one of the game's true greats, and famously bowled the ball of the century in 1993 against England. Warne is being remembered by names across the world of sport and showbiz. His management said, Shane was found unresponsive in his villa and despite the best efforts of medical staff, he could not be revived. Just 12 hours prior to his death, Shane had tweeted a tribute to Rod Marsh. He said, Rod cared deeply about cricket and gave so much especially to Australia and England players. Sending lots and lots of love to Ross and the family. Rip mate. Recently, Warren even spoke about taking on the vacant role as England cricket coach as he remained a sought-after expert on all things cricket, turning his hand to commentary after retirement. Shane was the second highest wicket-taker of all time in test cricket, and is still regarded as one of the best, long after he retired from international cricket in 2007. He eventually retired from all forms of cricket in 2013, aged 43. Warren's Australia career spanned from 1992 until 2007. After his international debut, Warren went on to take an incredible 708 wickets in 145 matches, earning himself the title as one of the best players to have played the game. He was an integral part of the side that went undefeated against English teams in the Ashes between 1989 and 2003. England eventually won back the urn in 2005 in what became known as one of greatest test series ever. He was familiar to English crowds both as a revolutionary spinner that tore apart English batting lineup and as part of the club and county setup. Recently, Warren even raised the possibility of him taking over as England cricket coach after their disastrous 4-0 defeat down under.